keep this simple full braided OG hairstyle because we fit in like a G with this hairstyle. I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair down the middle as you can see I've already done and then I'm just going to put one section aside and then using the middle part as my guide I'm going to create another line going back. I'm using the back of my comb and I like a little bit of curve to my line you know we're trying to look like a lady we're not trying to look like totally OG so we got to have a little bit of feminine to this. So I'm just adding a little bit of curvage to the line and I'm just going to go ahead and part that all the way back. And then I repeat the same step on the other side of my head and I section all four parts of my hair before I start any cane rows. And apologies for a little bit of white stuff in my hair, it's a little bit of that job. I know I gotta wash my hair, it's two days away and that's why I'm rocking this hairstyle, okay? So here you can see I've done my four sections and again I just use each line as a guide. I've got my curves on two sides and a middle part going down. And then to start off with the camos, I'm just going to go ahead and brush out my hair. And then I take my handy dandy Eco Styler Gel and I just want to go ahead and slick down the edges and the size of my hair. For this hairstyle, we want it to look slick because it's four braids. So I'm just putting the Eco Styler Gel along the lines of um, my hair just to make sure that it looks nice and slick before I camo it. So to start the cameras, I'm just taking the back of my comb and sectioning out a little portion of the hair and this is just going to help me uh, start my camo. And to camo my hair, I want to make sure that I'm going in a circular motion. So I'm just following the perimeter of my headline and not going straight back because again, I want some curvature to the cameras. And this is simple guys, I just camo my hair going all the way back, making sure that I get my edges and then we want to make sure that they're smashed. And then we braid it all the way down to the end. sure that you're going in the middle of the braid and not close to the end of the line if that makes sense and then I'm just repeating the same steps on the final braid I just thought I would show you throw the last one in uh, put some gel in and then go ahead and follow the perimeter of my head to get a circular cane rope see I gotta snatch those edges man we want to make sure that we're laid honey And then onto my favorite part is to lay them edges. I just take some Eco Styler gel again, and I'm just using my toothbrush and a wrap tail comb, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slick down my edges. This is where we get that little pair to the look. You know, we wanna spice it up, so I'm just using my comb and my toothbrush, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tie that down with my silk headscarf. the bun on the back of my head I'm just braiding the four cane rows into a little braid and then I'm gonna wrap that up into a bun so here I'm just securing the little bun with a bobby pin and then I'm just taking some weaving hair and I just wrap a little piece around the bun at first and then I take the rest of the weaving hair and I use the wefts and I twist them around the bun. And I don't pretty, I don't use bobby pins throughout this process. I just make sure that the weave is tied around tight, but not too tight. And I just keep doing this until the weave is completely done. I had to take off my silk scarf because there was not enough space. But I just pretty much finished it and then twisted it up and wrapped it up into a bun. I'm 
just securing the bun with a bobby pin, you know, positioning it into the right place. And that's pretty much it guys, my four braided OG cane roll. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you like this simple chic look and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!